In this video, I am going to show you how to use the line st function in Google Sheets. What the line st function does is it calculates different parameters about the ideal linear trend using the least squares method. And what it does is when given partial data, it calculates various statistics about the lin linear trend of your data. So this is a function that is commonly used with linear regression. And if you're not using statistics regularly, this might not be the function for you. But if you regularly look at linear regression, this is a function that you want to know. So I'm not going to go too deep into explaining the statistics in this video. I'm, most people that come to this will already have a solid understanding of statistics. This video is just going to focus on how to actually use the function. So what I have here in this example is I have this data set with hours studied and I have test scores. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the line st function to return statistics about the linear regression trend of this data. But first, before I get into that, let's take a look at the syntax of this function. So this is the function line st. So there's four arguments. The first argument is known data y, which is an array or range that contains the dependent values. The second argument is optional. This is known data x, which is an array or a range that contains the known independent variables. And it should be the same length as your first argument, as your known data y. The third argument is op also optional, and it's going to be set to true by default. This controls whether or not to calculate the y-intercept. So it's called calculate b. If true, it will calculate the linear form of the y-intercept, y equals m times x plus b. If it's set to false, b will be set to zero and it will only calculate the m values. Verbose is going to be set to false by default and this basically controls whether or not to provide additional regression statistics after the slope and intercept. So if it's set to true, basically you're just going to get a bunch of additional statistics returned. And you will get things like standard error for each coefficient and intercept coefficient of determination, standard error for the de dependent variables, the F statistic or observed F value, degrees of freedom, regression of sum of squares, and residual sum of squares. So this seems complex but it's actually not that hard of a function to use so first i will just use it to return your standard um, statistics and we will only be using two arguments in this function so the first argument i'm going to put in my known y data and then in the next argument my known x data so the y data is the dependent values in this example it's the scores the x value is the independent values, which in this example is the hours. So equals line st, y values, and then x values. And this returns my two statistics, which this first one is the regression, coefic regression coefficient, or the slope of the line. And then the next one is the y-intercept, which is the value of y when x is equal to zero. So that is how to use it um, normally. Now, if you want to return the additional statistics, you would have to set the fourth value in this function, which is optional to true. So I will do that over here, equals line st, y values, x values, and then we're just gonna go true, true, and this will return more statistics for you. So you have these two which returned in the last example, the regression coefficient or the slope of the line. You have the y-intercept and then you have some additional statistics that are returned. So you have the standard error value for the slope value, the standard error value for the y-intercept, the coefficient of determination, 
the standard error for the y estimate, the f statistic, the degrees of freedom, the regression sum of squares, and the residual sum of squares. So this function is pretty useful if uh, you are regularly working with statistics, so I wanted to show this. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.